What's up guys, Justin here with TheSketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp quick tutorial for you. So in today's video I wanted to talk about how to fix flashing faces, um, which is a common issue that a lot of people run into inside of SketchUp. If you're looking for more great SketchUp tips, make sure you check out my free SketchUp tips guide at TheSketchUpEssentials.com slash tips. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, and so this is something you may run into um, at various points inside of uh, whenever you're modeling inside a SketchUp and basically what happens is sometimes you'll get faces inside your model that give you kind of this weird flashing effect and so I'll show you what I'm talking about and so what I have here is I have two groups I have a grouped face right here that's in a rectangle and a grouped face here that's in a circle and I guess I have a third face here which is a triangle as well and so when I take this shape if I move this circle group so that it's intersecting with this face right here. You can see how as I rotate around, this face is kind of flashing, right? So it doesn't look uh, uniformly gray or uniformly white. It's kind of a combination of both, and as I, as I rotate around, it just kind of flashes as you rotate around. And so what this is, is this is what's known as Z-fighting. And Z-fighting is whenever in a 3D space, you have two different faces occupying the same space so if they're in the same location and they're two different faces with different materials you're gonna get this flashing because your graphics card and your computer are trying to figure out which material to show so you can see how um, as I rotate around this is just kind of flashing back and forth and this will happen as many times as you have objects um, in the same space. You can see I have the same issue right here with this triangle. And I do want to draw your attention to one thing, which is if I move this over here and I fly around, you'll notice that I'm not getting the flashing up here. And the reason for that is because inside this triangle, these both have this white material applied to them, so they're not different materials. Since they're not different materials, your graphics card isn't having trouble figuring out which one to display because they're both white. So there's no reason for it to flash. And so there's a few different ways that you can fix this. Because the, the reason for this is because these are both, or all three occupying the same space. So like for example, if I drew a rectangle over here, and then let's say I drew a triangle right here, and these weren't grouped, and then I clicked right here, you can see how you don't get Z fighting because these faces merge. So they're no longer multiple different faces occupying the same space. These just merge and become a single face and so you're not having that problem anymore. And so there's a couple different ways you can fix this. And this is a model that I downloaded from the 3D warehouse. And uh, so you can download this if you wanna, um, if you want to follow along, it's the Bookcase White by Studio Bottini. And I will note that when you download this model, the rug doesn't look like this. I deleted out the existing rug for this example. And so one thing you can do in order to get rid of this Z fighting is I went in here and I drew a rug on top of this grouped floor like this. And you don't want to merge this face with your floor because a rug is something that you might want to move around or change or something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to group this. But you can see how when I drew this rug on top of this face right here, um, you're getting that Z fighting in here. Well, one way to fix that is to come in here and just double click inside your rug and just give it just a little bit of thickness. So, you know, you could give it as little as like a 16th or an eighth of an inch. You can see if I push pull this up just by a 16th of an inch and then rotate around, you can see how now this face isn't occupying the same space as the floor anymore. So you're no longer getting Z fighting. And you can see if you really, really, really zoom in on this, that this has a little bit of thickness associated with it. But that's not necessarily a bad thing anyway because things like rugs actually do have thickness associated with them. So that's one way to fix this really easily is just to come in here and give your object or your group a little bit of thickness. And so sometimes you get this issue because you just have multiple different faces in different groups in here by mistake. And so like for example, let's say we look at my tiny house model from our modeling for a layout model, you can see how as I fly around in here, I actually have Z fighting going on in the floor. Well, the reason I have Z fighting going on in the floor is because when I was messing around with my, uh, when I was messing around with my flooring group, it kind of merged with this slab that's down here. And at one point inside of this group, I had my face in here for my floor. But if I hide that like this, 
and then I double click in here again, there was actually another face grouped in here that got kind of auto filled in when I added this uh, when I added this slab right here. So sometimes the solution is just to come in here and just delete this out. And then if I hit escape and go back and do an edit, unhide all, you can see how now I don't have Z fighting going on except for right here, um, just because um, there's no reason for it because there's no longer a face in there. So a lot of the time the solution is just to find that extra face and delete it out. And so those are probably the two easiest ways to fix this is just to apply a little bit of thickness to it and also just to delete that out. Another option that you might have if you had multiple faces on um, if you had multiple faces that you needed to keep in here for some reason, um, like maybe you had something that was like a label or something like that, um, you could also put things like your floor on their own layer. So you could turn one or the other off so they're not occupying the same space and being turned on at the same time. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Did you know about this? Did you know how to fix it? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.